Okay, Jacob, we are live. It's Friday, January 25th, 2019. No, the year is not almost done. The month is almost over. So I'm starting just a little bit early. Just uh, I got my son Jacob here. He uh, he's eating a burger, cheeseburger, Mickey D's, of course. Playing a little Roblox and uh, hi, Kyla. Glad to see you could make it, Miss Chicken. <laughs> Didn't want to come on live. Up. Oh. Noah says, hi, Jacob, and Kyla says, I'm hungry, Jacob. I think maybe she wants some of that cheeseburger of yours. No? Yes? Yeah, she could have some if she was here. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, give, yeah, let her have a bite. Here comes Jacob. Hey, Green Lantern. No, you, the camera's here, buddy. <laughs> All right. There, she said yay. Do you see that? All right. Okay. Okay. Move your burger. <laughs> you said you didn't want to be on the stream. I had it set up so you could be on there. You're you're the handsome guy. You said you wanted to play Roblox. So I, I started a little bit early just so we could kind of get this figured out, right? So you can hear Roblox when you're uh, when you got your headset on, and you can hear me from the other ear. Kyla said, "Thank you for the bite." Thumbs up. Jacob said, "Thumbs up." Okay, so uh, she actually did take a bite. Okay, that's what. Oh, her mouth came through the camera. Okay. All right, let's not scare her away, okay? So hopefully, uh, Jared or Craig or Ron will be along shortly to help me out. But um, I believe it's... Okay, that hot chocolate sounds like it's done. You still have a little more in there? Okay. All right, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, Jacob will be down at my office tomorrow. He might do a Roblox stream. That's his his game so settle in and I will get these done and then we have a Nick Fury if you can't tell uh, I know some of these are kind of hard until they get uh, some inking on them and I got a Punisher down here that I think is going to turn out actually fairly cool and I'll get to that soon That's my watch. No, there's there's no merch down there yet, buddy. We have to still develop that. Okay. All right. Hey, AG. AG says, hi, Jacob. That's hi. AG. Hi. Okay. Now, do you want to go on the stream or do you want to play your game? You better play your game. I think that's going to be best for you. All right. So let daddy's going to get these done, okay? We can't come in at 2 a.m. in the morning. Mom will wonder where we've been. Right? All right. Sounds good, buddy. Mm 
Mm, I don't know about that, but don't be too uh, talkative. And unless you want to come on stream, I'll come over there and put you on. Be quiet like a little mouse, okay? All right, Jake. All right. Love you, kid. Oh, you mumbled it. Then don't finish it if you're full. That's why you can't finish it, because you're full of hot chocolate. All right. Pretty good hot chocolate from Mickey D's. Oh, that's just what a lot of older people call it instead of McDonald's. <laughs> Kyla says she'll finish it for you. She must be hungry. Yeah, I bet she is. Hello, uh, hello. You need to mute something. Oh, no, no, you don't. I should be able to hear you. Let me unpin myself. Mr. Jared is in the house. Hello. Yes, I. Jacob's asking, did I invite you to the stream? <laughs> no. He <laughs> showed up. No, he, he hacked in. I'm a hacker. Of course I invited him, just like I invited you. Jacob was on before I brought it uh, public, and he decided he'd rather play Roblox. Uh, well, you know, decisions, decisions, and all that. I hear you. So your communication this week was uh, lacking, Jared. It's an interesting week, my friend. An interesting uh, week. I, I had one, too. Starting in the weekend when Jacob got, like, really sick and we thought he had the flu and they did a swab test and all this other stuff and didn't have the flu, but he had something. He's, as you can tell, doing well now. Oh, good. Yeah, my four-year-old had the croup. The croup? Mm-hmm. Well, I... I you're going to have to explain that, Alabamian. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a real disease. It's just in the throat, and it gets in the larynx, and swelling, and coughing, and... Fever? Yep, a little fever. Man, that sounds kind of like what... J Jared was laid out... Jared. Jacob was laid out in bed, and that's the first time I've ever seen him start complaining about his neck and stuff. Hmm. Well, I'm glad he's doing better. I know it's a pain when you got a sick kid. It's just is no fun at all. No, because you're trying to communicate with them mm -hmm. and they <laughs> don't quite know. And you don't know if they're just mimicking the complaints they've heard you when you, you're sick. Like, oh, my neck stiff and my back hurts. And <laughs> <clears throat> oh boy. You know we're live, right? I know. I know. That's okay. why I just turned the volume down on my I pulled up the <laughs> uh the show on my phone here. And, and you I saw just... that you were pegging red, right? Um, sure. Uh, <laughs> you're seeing uh, who all's in here. I see there's a lot of very, very cool people and also uh, Kirk. Oh, man. <laughs> Which one is he? 
No other hyper potato. Okay. I wish I wish Kirk would just get it. Wait a minute. He has been in under his own. Like in the mornings. Hmm. Right? I think. Uh, he's a mystery. Jared, are you okay? You're Am moaning I? and yeah, you're moaning and making sounds like you're, you know, mm -hmm. having a little potty trouble or something. <laughs> potty trouble? <laughs> I, I think Jared is. He needs a bottle of water. Uh, I got a. Uh, <laughs> I do got some some back issues currently that are no fun. Oh yeah, that you need Doctor Kaz. I do. I need Doctor Kaz. Is Doctor Kaz in the house? I need Dr. Kaz to give you an adjustment. Uh, I just need uh, I just need Kirk to come give me a back rub. Wow. <laughs> or Zablo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so you're saying you're you're having a broke back mountain? <laughs> Well, that's not, I'm not. I'm not saying that, but I'm not ruling anything out. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> so that's the end of the stream tonight, folks. Oh man, Jared, what? what so what do you have going? I think I asked you, and we sidetracked it. I uh, I have going a sketch cover. I'll move my hand one second. I get this line the way I like it. Um, doing a thing from Fantastic Four. All right. I had started a layout on a Star Wars sketch cover to do a Luke Skywalker. And let me tell you something, my friend. I have never gotten a Luke Skywalker to come out the way I like it. I ended up throwing it away. I was like, God, I something about I, I love you, Mark Hamill. I know you probably listen to the show, but something about his face, I cannot get it right. It drives me insane. The thing's face? No, uh, Mark Hamill, the Luke Skywalker. Oh. Just can't ever get a Luke Skywalker to come out the way I want it to. So you know the feeling in my heart when I'm at the shows, I'm doing my little three-minute sketches, and the kid comes up, and he's like, can you do Luke Skywalker? And I'm like, ah. <laughs> I'll do my best, kid. <laughs> I'm never you, happy with it. And then you use the force. I I try to. Or do you use the dark side? Mm, yeah, nothing I want to admit to in public. There you go. A little bit of both. Maybe. I see your comment there, Kirk. Keyword being awful. I see what you did there. <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> So I said, I am so fed up with this Luke Skywalker. I'm going to do something I'm more comfortable with. And I'm just going to fiddle away on this thing. I'm going to draw this thing here. See, I have trouble with him. I, I just never feel like I, you know, those those rocky tiles move around a lot. Yeah. I mean, the rocky tiles are, they are what they are. And, you know, they should be consistent, right? I mean, they shouldn't. Theoretically, they shouldn't. Uh, you know, you know. So what's been going on in Beatty Land? Oh, I told you. Sick kid. Uh... uh been being quite successful with these uh, quickie, although they've slowed down. Um, I think I'm putting too much work into them. I'm beginning to render now where I was just going to do breaststrokes. But now, as you can see, I'm starting to do tight feathering and stuff. I'm like, why do I do this to myself? You are who you are. It's why we love you. Is that a uh, Frank Castle you got going there? Not yet. This is a Nick Fury. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see it now. Well, you should have seen it the first time. 
Well, it's, you know, I'm looking at it via computer, buddy. All right. So I can't, I can't, all I see is mouth chomping cigar. I should have uh -huh. gone with Nick Fury. I, I see no eye patch, but maybe there's not one on there yet. Here you go. Oh, it's Captain Jack Sparrow. It's going to go, it's going to go in here. Oh, now I feel so much better. So we got we got rum. Yeah, I maybe. Sometimes uh, Thursdays and Fridays are very busy for him, and he he didn't get in till maybe around seven thirty, quarter of eight last night. So no rush, no rush on him. Let him. He doesn't need another speeding ticket. No, I just, Ron. I just want to know if you're going to have any more bodily function noises start flaring up. Um, I like to keep you guessing. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll gargle my juice a little bit. <laughs> don't, no, please don't. Dang it. All right. So, see, um, I thought I was on the Long Box Crusade that day. Well, you were on the Doing It Live stream version. Yeah, but it's completely different. I kept waiting for Pat or you to mention like what book we were going to be discussing. <laughs> and I'm like, well, what is all this? Okay, you know, uh, time for another raffle. You hear that, folks? You should be checking out the long box crusade doing it live stream. <laughs> hey, you got did you get that email I sent you? Yes, I saw it today. You you should you should probably do that. I will let Pat know that is Pat's department. Well, I thought you handled all that stuff. No, I do not. Because I, I was surprised. Time. I was surprised that the other one was taken. I thought it's you know before I sent it, I was like, you know what, I should check this because I'd hate to send that email to you guys and y'all think, oh, he knew it was taken. <laughs> that baby! How dare he! Well, well, we enjoyed chatting with you and having you on. Well, that's something. Yeah, that's something. I, I didn't quite know what to contribute except sarcasm and hygiene. Had <laughs> some witticisms and hijinks. That was pretty much it, man. <sighs> Jacob, how's it going over there? What's Jacob doing? Is he is he just Robloxing it? He's Robloxing. Do you you're, you and you and Michael are playing a game? Minecraft what? Obby? Is it Minecraft or is it on Roblox? It's Minecraft, but it's on Roblox. Okay, I have no idea. He may as well be speaking Klingon. <laughs> okay. I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> Is it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that's right. That's right. I, I do not know, Jacob. Uh, it's it sounds like you're having a great time, but I have no idea what you're talking about. You're above above my pay grade. Okay, he's on stage twenty four. Everybody, by the way, stage twenty four. Whatever that means. What is a what? What is a girl boy? Uh, I'll have that to. That is a broad question. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, there's a good pun in there's there. There's a pun in there. Yeah, that definitely. Is. A broad question. It's 
No, no, Jacob, don't, 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 don't be repeating what Uncle Jared is saying. Oh man, feels this tremendous sense of responsibility all of a sudden. I something's got to do it. <laughs> Godfather Jared, the Godfather. I told Neil if I ever die, he's responsible for. Uh, For, for you know, Neil Adams, that is, for uh, Jacob's upbringing. He can afford it. Probably. No, no probabilities about <laughs> it. He, he loves Jacob. And I'm like, Neil, if anything ever happens to me, he's like, don't worry, I got it covered. I wonder if I can trust him on that. I know she didn't ask me. Well. I mean, it, you, it's an exercise in good judgment on your part. You you got two. Neil's got kids, but they're all grown. So, and he loves kids. He he literally really does love kids. He's very good with them. Yeah, he loves to <laughs> Did you hear Jacob? Yes. Let me take a quick look in the chat. See what I've been missing. <laughs> GLHG says you heard it here first, folks, and that was about something about a a back rub on Jared. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> Ashley came in the room. Happy Friday to you, Ashley. Glad to see you could make it. I hope your son is uh, being able to watch with you. Uh, it's I love you. Ashley does. Yes, yeah, she has a son. I think he's a five-year-old. Ashley, when you when you do what I do, uh, Friday is just another day. Always contribute Sergeant Rock and Atari Force, please. Mike Cross, how you doing, buddy? What up, Mike Cross? Can Jacob get to Neil get Neil to sign some comics for me? <laughs> I was about that. <laughs> hey Jacob, can you take some things from Uncle Neil's office the next time? I don't think Neil would believe Jacob if he said, I'm a big fan. <laughs> Jacob's like, can you draw me a booster gold? <laughs> <laughs> the hell is wrong with this kid? Actually, Neil did this like little Sharpie on a, like an index card or something, a little small piece of paper, mm -hmm. like an outline, you know, very basic. And he gave it to Jacob and he said, now I want you to fill in all the blacks on Batman, but leave the eyes and the facial Part out. Let's see how good you do. And they were doing that, and I wasn't paying attention. And I saw it sometime last year over on my uh, counter. And I picked it up, and I said, "I need to keep this." And I realized because I I had to go do something, so Jacob was over there with Neil doing it, and Jacob did a really good job. Neil signed it. Said yeah. Neil Adams, and then Jacob signed it, and he had Jacob sign it. So I'm like, wow. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's Best Buy. I, I've been getting Best Buy uh, emails since before Black Friday. It's like I get three a day. I think I signed you up for a mailing list because it amused me. No, I, I'm on it because, you know, when you buy something, they want to know your email. Mm -hmm. And, you know, occasionally they got that good sale. So it's like, okay, but man, come on, enough already. They, <laughs> You know, I, I, I keep looking at like a, not huge, but like 50 to 55 inch TV. And I, I think that's why they keep enticing me. Like, hey, John. And, you know, I kind of got low, but I didn't have the money, so I couldn't buy it. So, Daddy has no TV. Jacob, how do you feel about Daddy not having a TV? <laughs> this is where you get the people to start buying stuff? No, really. You, he, get, the, he, you get Jacob to come on, he cries. <laughs> no, no, no. Believe me. He told me this, and it it was very heartwarming. I, I, so, when Jacob tells you, Jacob, what do you feel about Daddy not having a TV? 
so cute. What did he say? He said bad. Because mm. I got you know I got him a a nice forty three inch flat screen in his room. So Jacob's room is the place to be. Well, mine would be if I had to if I had a TV in it. But I I don't watch that much TV anyway. But I I would kind of like to lay in bed and fall asleep to something every now and again. I I almost exclusively fall asleep to things, as you know. <laughs> I fall asleep just from being tired. I used to do that. Iraq changed me. I started falling asleep to television in Iraq, and I never have shaken that habit. So if I leave the TV on in the hotel room. No, you sleep with earphones on. Well, I did that so it wouldn't bother you. If you hadn't have been in the room, I would have I would have put it on without I, earphones. Jared, I can sleep through uh, uh, anything. All right, I'll keep that in mind. All I know is you you made me go into that second bed. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Jacob said he could sleep through a dog barking in his ear. Oh, man. Hopefully he wouldn't have to do that, but that's a good power to have. Well, you know, it's when I put him out in the backyard. <clears throat> that's how he developed that skill. Skills for life, boy. <laughs> no, actually, Jacob... <laughs> hey, hey. GLHC cracked me up in the chat. Sorry. <laughs> He's got a 40 inch TV. I had a, yeah, I know. I had a, I remember when my dad traded some tires and got me like a 15 inch black and white TV for my room when I was like in high school. And boy, I remember, yeah, I remember my dad gave me the old black and white. Jacob, don't kick my drawing table, buddy. Okay, thank you. I rocked that black and white TV until, believe it or not, get ready for this, 1993. Oh, I thought you were going to say last year. <laughs> I rocked that black and white TV my pops gave me. He gave it to me in about 82, and I rocked it until about 93. There wasn't much, uh, you know, there was the networks. It was about, anyway. There wasn't any uh, fancy dancy stuff that, that these kids have now, so. I get a kick out of how my four-year-old can't stand commercials. <laughs> <laughs> He's so used to streaming and, you know, I've got the digital media server where I've, I've put all of our, you know, DVDs on it. So it's like thousands of things on there. And now when he watches any kind of regular TV, a commercial comes on, he's like, skip it. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't, man. It's real TV. You know, you know, they used to have, and I don't know if they still do, like a smart skip commercial thing on some of those DVRs yep. and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, I have one of those. They don't have it, that anymore, do they? It jumps in 15 second increments. Well, now they just have that where you can go like real fast. And you know what I mean? I guess I, I don't, I, I'll, I only have streaming and, and my own, my own digital media server these days. I don't, I don't have any cable or satellite anymore. I wish I didn't, but I got people that are reliable. Rely, I, well, I got one person that's probably relying upon it. Jacob could be uh, Roblox 24-7. I'd say cutting the cable was... All day long. Was scary day for me, but uh, once I did it, I was so happy. It was... It was what I was say, scary? Like, man, I can't believe I'm not going to have... You know, I had Dish Network at the time. I can't believe I'm not going to have that. And That's you know, what I have. I, I got Dish. But uh, once I got rid of it, I realized I was saving, you know, a couple grand a year, and I didn't yep. miss it at all. Nope. I could easily do without it. But I have somebody that has to watch QVC. 
Is it my it, mother? No, it would be mine. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, our mothers have that in common. And uh, it's kind of one of those things where she listens to stuff now without sound, even though she got hearing aids last year. Hmm. Now she just turns the sound off and listens and reads the, uh, what do they call it? The SAP? The captions? Yeah. Kind of irritates me. <laughs> I'm like, okay, just got hearing aids, and now you're turning the sound off. You figure it out. I can't. <laughs> the math doesn't it's, matter. <laughs> it's like it's like a Rubik's cube. It's a mystery wrapped in a riddle, surrounded by an enigma. It is. It's like a Rubik's cube to me. I'm like, whoa, well, she. Wait, what? I can't figure this out. That's right. I can't figure it out, Jacob. So Zabel is at a soiree tonight, a little party. That's what I heard. Yeah, for a while. He said that uh, when it was all said and done, he would try to try to jump in. Everybody's got the invite. Uh, Pat always says he's got family stuff to attend to, and I know that means uh, the family of Boons and Farm. <laughs> Someone's got to take care of his family of Boone and <laughs> His uncle Johnny Walker. Yeah, Uncle Jack. He he was having a good eggnog season. He he really was. But you yeah. know, he is a very mellow cat. He is. I love that. Yeah. And and I started to notice that that night that he came in kind of late. I noticed that he was like really laid back. <laughs> Just made my plans to pick him up for Heroes Con. All right. Uh, no, I haven't imagined that it. Okay. Well, I can't see it, Jacob. I can't see it, bud. You're you're at a different angle than me. I'm seeing a. It's. You know how when the flat TVs first came out, people were complaining about you couldn't see the sides, and mm -hmm. now they're even like this monitor is even thinner, so I can just see like a shadow over it. So, I, I I'm not being mean to my son. I just can't. Uh, <laughs> I literally can't well, see No it. one's judging you. It's okay. It's okay. I know that. I'm just saying. I I, I can't see it. Jacob has a bigger TV than any screen in my house. Wow. Well, he's got a 43 inch and, you know, that was big enough. I, The rooms aren't big in our house, so I'm even thinking a 50 in my bedroom would be too big. But I'm thinking if he's got a 43, 50 will. 50 is what I need. Does it make you feel better? Yeah. I understand. Yeah, Jordan's got a, I don't know, probably 36 inch in his room. Because when my parents moved away to Washington State, they literally sold or gave away all their possessions before they left and got in a van and drove to Washington state and they gave him their old TV. Boy, they were smart. Weren't they? Yep. Maybe not the Washington state. Well, that's an expensive state, but if they can afford it, God bless them. Well, they live on Whidbey Island, which is, uh, would be Whidbey. W H I D B E Y, I think it's uh, uh, there's a naval station there, so it's good for my dad because uh, he's got the military retirement, you know. Okay, gotcha. Comprende, Roger that, Senor.
So what's for dinner tonight, Jacob? Oh, uh, Jared. Um, I think I heard a rumor that tonight is going to be burrito night, fish sticks and chicken nuggets night. That's the, that means Mama doesn't want to do anything. She's just gonna put some stuff in the oven, and I don't blame her with all this swapping out we've had to do with Jay. You know, someone has to. Oh, I got to go back to work now. I got to stay home and watch Jay now. Oh, I got to run into work now. I got to stay and watch Jay. I said, just take it easy. Just make it easy dinner tonight. I hear you. It's that whole pesky day job stuff, man. Oh, believe me. You're you're probably better off having the day job. So well, I got a good one, so. Because when you're at home, people are, you know, even like me, renting an office, people just don't seem to think you're working sometimes. I think people's code for wives. <laughs> You, you think what? Pardon me? People's code for wives in this I, I I did not say that. <laughs> I, this, is, this, is, this has been like all my life. You know, I've been the guy that your sister needs picking up. You know, uh, she's taking her car in for service and she needs to get to work. And I'm like, I know what this means. Just come out and say it. Do you still take your mom to the grocery store on Thursdays? Uh, no, not all the time because uh, when she fell and broke her wrist last year, we kind of got off that routine a little bit. My sister has kind of retired. My older sister, you know, kidney lady. Mm -hmm. um, so she can take her a little bit now, which has been nice because, you know, Sitting out in public parking a lot for almost two hours on Thursdays is a colossal waste of time. <laughs> but there's no way I'm going in the store because that'll just, you know, that'll torture me more. <laughs> well, you know how some people shop. They pick stuff up. They put it down. They circle back around. Mm, I'm a targeted shopper. Me too. Now, I might see something down a row that I didn't know was there, and I'll stop real quick, And but I make a split decision. You know, I can I can make that audible. Like you can it. do that, too, I'm sure. Absolutely. You know, it's like, do we need this? Well, I'm not sure. Could it be something we could use? Yeah, okay, I'll buy it. Or I put it back if it's completely unnecessary. Uh oh. I heard the lady Albrecht. <laughs> He's out there talking to one of my children. Oh, I thought I was in trouble. No, but I can arrange that. No, 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 no. Um, just checking the chat here. Uh, okay. Noah, the hyper potato, says, John, since you're drawing fury. Have you got any Steranko stories? Oh, Steranko's great. I love the man. Um, I I have no stories that he could not tell you himself that were just, he's a much better storyteller. So the next time you're at a convention that he's at, go stand in his line and listen to his stories. Because they are well worth it. That's worth the price of admission right there. And if you're anything like me, which you're probably not, but let's just say you are. Hum the Austin Powers theme song in your head when you see him talking and moving around. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but it, it, it works. But no, really, listen to the stories. They're they're pretty pretty cool. He was at Heroes last year. I remember seeing him there. Yep. That man has lived a full life. 
and he's not done yet. And imagine, what do you have, like 32 or 34 published stories at Marvel, and look at look at everything he brought to the table. That's a small body of work to have such a big influence on so many people. Mm -hmm. Not that that's the only work he did, but I'm just saying in comics, it's usually, you know, it's usually not enough to move the needle. But boy, when you brought it like he did, that needle, you know, redlined and it never came off until till he quit. I hear chipmunks. They're my chipmunks. Well, I know they can't be mine because I only got one and he's right in front of me. <laughs> you have to claim those. How far apart are your chipmunks in age? Eight years. Eight years apart? Mm -hmm. uh, Jacob, you still got time to get a brother or sister. <laughs> huh? Because Jared's Jared's two kids are eight years apart. The two brothers. Yep. Jordan was eight when Jay was born. All right, you got two years, Jacob. You got two years to talk your mom into having a... <laughs> <laughs> You better be careful what you uh, talking up over there, my friend. <laughs> I know, but it is so. Sometimes it's so sweet to listen to Jacob talk about how he wished he had a sister or brother, because he's so sincere. But we know that. Mm -hmm. Jacob, Jacob, don't kick my drawing board, buddy. What's that? <laughs> Is that a real car or one on the game? Jacob's already uh, picked his car out, everybody. He's looking at Lamborghinis. Hmm. You're going to need an uptick in the sales of Secret Wars. I'm going to need... Uh, J no, Jacob's going to take care of all this. Right, oh, okay. Jacob? You're going to buy your own Lamborghini. You betcha. <laughs> you betcha. I like the confidence, boy. That's right. Maybe two, right? Maybe two or three? Huh? You know, maybe you'll have more than one. Maybe you'll have a couple of Lambos, as he likes to call them, too. He's even got the slang down, the Lambo. The Lambo. Kid is ready to rock. He is. No doubt. My son's got a Lambo. Lambo Field. My four year old, we we got uh one of those battery powered ones that he drives away, you know, drives around. Oh in. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I caught it on an after Christmas sale last year. They were two hundred bucks at the at the one of the local stores and they did a seventy five percent off everything after Christmas sale. Wow. So he got a brand new one, 50 bucks. That's a good deal. Yeah. What, Jake? The Corvette is kind of like a Lamborghini. Yeah, that new Corvette is a good looking. Uh, yeah. he's, it's kind of like a Lamborghini. I think they may have borrowed a few styling. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't think they're faster, though. Is your house okay there? It's haunted. Is it? It's what? Haunted. Oh, my wife's moving some chairs around out there. Oh, uh, whatever she's doing is fine. I, I. 
If you want me to open the door and tell her, John Beatty no. says keep it down. No, 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 no. I'll do that. I like a lady that that eats burritos. <laughs> <laughs> I've told you before the amusing part about that is it is that it is offensive to her. <laughs> I didn't think it was offensive. No, not like I mean like, she doesn't get seriously offended, but yeah, as a Puerto no, Rican, the, I, the no, assumption no. that they like Mexican food is the thing that bothers a lot of Puerto Rican people. I, I know, but the 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 joke was I didn't know when she know. said about burritos, and I was like, oh yeah, great choice. And then from now on, the running joke was like, <laughs> yeah. when you're getting something to eat, I was like, burritos. oh burrito. She thinks that's funny too, just so you know. So you're all right. You're safe for now. Because because for me, literally, I, I, I could eat burritos all the time. I agree with that. People in the chat, uh, what's the best thing in the world? A, a really great burger or a really great burrito? You make the call. See, now that's kind of tough because there are it some, is tough. There are some very good burgers. Because you think about the best burger you've ever had versus the best burrito you've ever had. And while we're talking about it, I got a tip for everybody in the audience. A place to get the best burger I've ever had was at a Mexican restaurant. And I had a Mexican friend of mine in the military tell me that's fairly standard. And he's not wrong. Some of the best cheeseburgers you'll ever have are at Mexican restaurants. You don't think to order them because you're there for burritos or tacos or whatever. Is but it because of the white Mexican cheese? That doesn't hurt. Uh, but when the real reason is, is your typical restaurants order patties from somewhere, frozen patties from here or there or wherever, and then they prep them and cook them however they want. Most Mexican restaurants don't because they don't sell that many cheeseburgers. So the, the, the patty is made fresh with the meat they have on hand. So you get a fresher meat, you get their local seasonings. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful adventure. Trust me out there, everyone. That kind of makes sense. Every once in a while, when I hit the Mexican joint, I'm like, you know what? Cheeseburger. And they have buns? Yep. Hmm. In fact, that's and all Jay eats right now at our local Mexican joint. Jay just always wants the cheeseburger. Huh. All right, we got some votes here. What's up, Ron? Ron made it in. And uh, we got bur uh, GLHG goes with burger. No other hyper potato has never once been able to answer a question with options in front of him with the given options. So he voted for pizza. Ron, are you coming in the chat? I did invite him. He's got the, uh, the, the key to the back door. <laughs> I don't know if he's joining or not, Jacob. He may have just got in. You know, in in from work. Watch that language, boy. So let's see who's it, what's winning burger burger like burgers in the lead pizza no, yeah, that's not that's, no he can't ever follow the rules i i like uh kyla says burrito <laughs> hey and ashley says burrito okay <laughs> she's gonna hit a mexican restaurant tonight muy bien got a good one where you live ashley are we are we calling your mother chat now, Trebek? Oh, he's still driving. Yeah, see, I knew. I knew he's... he's... Does he have a super call? Ron? Who? Jared? Jacob wants to know if you have a supercar. A no. supercar? He has a little blue uh, I have box. A, I have a Scion XB. He's got a little blue box. It's a boxy little car. Mm -hmm. Him and Zablo are, you know, they're they're neck and neck. We're, we're boxcar bros. Yeah, there, there you go, boxcar Willie. <laughs> that that probably made Zablo throw up a little bit in his mouth. You know that, right? 
when he mm -hmm. hears it. I got nothing but love for Zablo. Well, he knows that. Jared, have you been seeing all the sketches I've been doing? No, I've been out of the loop for a while, man. Uh, a little bit here and there because, like, when I pull up your channel, I can look at kind of quick thumbnails and whatnot. And then I can kind of – sometimes I'll click on a video and kind of skip through and see what you're drawing and how it's progressing. But I haven't gotten to it like I'd like to. Would you like me to go through them? Absolutely, I would. All right, hold on a minute. When Are I these sold or for sale? No, they're they're all. Uh, it was a magical week. I started doing these <laughs> these quick ones, like I'm doing this Nick Fury now, and they kind of caught fire. I put five out on. I did see you say something about that on Twitter. And man, it went within 20 minutes to a half hour, and then by the time I got to the other one, I didn't even get to publish the page, and people just hit it at the right time. So, I have been a drawing, I have been a drawing, drawing, drawing machine. Won't you get down? Won't you get down? <laughs> He's just a drawing machine, and he won't and he work. work but, 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 <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> let me, uh, let's see. I'm going to tell you. And I don't say this to just everybody. I'm kind of liking this thing. <laughs> See, you did a thing just so you could use thing as a pun, right? Um, let's, you know, let's not put a label on it. No, honestly, I picked the thing. Because like I said, the Star Wars Luke Skywalker thing went terribly awry again. I got mad. Wait, wait, Florida. wait, wait. Wait a minute. Now you're sounding like me. I know. And I was like, that exact thought hit my brain. I was like, you're baiting <laughs> this. You know that. And I'm just like, I, it just, I've never done a Luke Skywalker that I'm happy with. So, so I pitched now you it. Feel I grabbed the next thing from my, uh, my sketch cover, blank sketch cover stack, which was an FF. And I said, hmm. I said, you know what? I thing. I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood. Well, he's probably the most sellable. That occurred to me. I've noticed that most of the time when I do thing drawings, they sell. Uh, I've done a human torch before, and he sells, but just not as fast. I don't then, do him in, unless somebody requests him because... Yeah, kind of a pain. The whole, well, the whole, that, flame, it, whole flame yeah. is a little bit of a pain. Well, believe me, the thing's no walk in the park either. That's why I got great respect for Kirby for being able to Kirby and Senate because you know they just really, shall I say it, rocked. How many points did I get for that? I will grant it you three points. Only three, man. Did you did you catch that? I will grant it you three points. <laughs> oh. Okay. You use some <laughs> of my points. You use some of my points. I did. I did. I cashed in your points for my own game. <laughs> All right. So what was I gonna oh let me uh let me erase a little bit of this here. I'm glad I penciled these out today. Because otherwise, bringing Jacob down here and then, you know, he wanted to stream. Then I showed him how it'd be. Then he changed his mind because he couldn't play Roblox and stream. And you know, he wanted to really multitask. And I said, Jacob, you, you, you're you either on the stream or, you know, or you're playing Roblox. And he's like, mm, Roblox. And that Jake, trumps everything. And then Jacob was all like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Well, yeah, he did start that too. That was in the car. I think I thank him being sick this time. I think he's learned the importance of sometimes getting a good nap. 
Oh man. Right, right Jacob? Yeah, he That's just said a, yeah. Yeah, man. A good nap. That's where it's at. Yeah, anybody who made their career drawing and or inking the thing or Spider-Man with all those webs. Man, you got my ultimate respect. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. I think I'd rather do the webbing than the thing. Let me go ahead and fill in the blacks on this Nick Fury. Well, you can take them off. Well, you just can't turn your game on, though. You have to leave it on mute. Your computer, you have to mute it down. Is it muted? Because I can't have no uh, Roblox uh, sounds coming through on my stream. They'll... Yes, ma'am. Was that for me? Uh, Jared? What, 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 what? Was that your wife calling? Uh... No, I was nothing on my end. Although, I heard a girl. No, I, I got nothing. Noah the Hyper Potato asks, have y'all drawn Sue Storm in her boob window costume? And I am going to say, yes, I have many times, but uh, she's always invisible. So yeah, she's actually in the background of this thing, what I'm doing right now. <laughs> See what I did there? It's invisible Sue I, Storm jokes. I, I do. Well, I would say I could see it, but they're invisible. <laughs> Although I already said I saw what you did there, so <laughs> you know it all worked out. <laughs> I need to I need to walk that back, as they say. <laughs> I do. Jacob said I got the right idea. Is it weird Man. that I'm already hungry for Mexican food next time I come see you? No. Okay. <laughs> And you know where we're going. I do. I'm like, man, April can't get here fast enough. <laughs> Salsas. <laughs> I gotta get some of that Mexican food in my belly. <laughs> What's Jacob got going on? He's talking about whoever joins. Oh, whoever joins, it has a name, Ron. We'll get a free shout out. Well, shout out. He's giving out shout outs, y'all. Jacob likes to do that. <laughs> you like to do what? Give shout outs to random people? Okay. Word. That's what I'm talking about. See, I was hoping somebody would be here to like go to the... Uh, the other one and put the names for the drawing into the uh, random picker. Because I, I really can't do it right yet. Everybody needs I, a Pat Sampson in their life. Yes. Well, I have a Ron Wynn. Ron's usually right on it. I mean, and I, if I ask a question, he's already got it Googled up. That's a beautiful thing. That is a beautiful thing. Ron's, I mean, a, Ron's a good cat in most regards. There's some regards that... <laughs> There's a there's a little hate there. There's this, you know, not hate. Hate's a, hate hate's a strong word, but uh, I mean, he just has to die, and I have to kill him. <laughs> oh, by the way, we set that cage match up for you and Zablo at the Daytona Comic Con. No, I'm ready. I am ready. I haven't it, revealed all my secrets to Zablo yet. Unless you told him, but I'm not even sure that you know. I don't even know if, I don't know if I ever told you this secret. <laughs> I don't think he cares. Okay. He's a 60, 60 year old man that's going to kick your butt. Okay. He is a jiu-jitsu MMA champion, by the okay. way. All right. <laughs> so unless you're carrying like firepower. Oh well, No, he, he is actually. Uh, I know he's a wrestler. Yeah, and I tell you what, he is extremely quick and strong. Those little short fire plug legs cover a lot of ground. They cover a lot of ground fast and they are powerful. <laughs> Jacob, what do you need, buddy? Oh, be careful opening that refrigerator door. My all my LaCroix will be coming falling out. What are you doing? You need water? 
right there. Dang, and you, what's, what's you have wild, another. Person? Hey, you have another one right here that's not finished. Right there. Daddy, how do they get a wild turkey into a bottle? Why is it in your fridge? All right. So here's Nick Fury smoking right. his. Smoking his, Nick Fury. Smoking Nick Fury. Hey, Joe. Good evening. Shout out to Joe. <laughs> Shout out, Joe. Joe, my son Jacob gave you a shout out. Tell your friends. Now he's now Jacob's asking me what a shout out is. Jacob, how are you giving out shout outs? You don't know what a shout out is. He knows. I don't know what he's doing. Hey Ken, that's a uh, bullet heads. Jacob is Ken. He told us that because we were calling him bullet heads, he said just Jacob. Yes, he is wise, Joe. Wise beyond his... his uh... And Ashley says her son started Kung Fu and thinks he's a ninja now. Heck yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah. Jacob thinks he's a ninja too, right, Jake? You. Uh, uh, Jacob. Uh, Jacob, what are you doing? Are you bored? Mommy said you would be. <laughs> don't don't well, fiddle with stuff over there. It could all bro. collapse. And if it all collapses, it's not. It's gonna be no fun. It's it's gonna be no. It's gonna it's gonna be no no fun. I mean, like really no fun. It's gonna be like daddy's gonna be like. Well, I guess. Uh, all right. So we're gonna run through these fairly quick because I still all got right. more to do. Colossus. Very nice. From uh, the X Men. <laughs> Yeah, no, Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, Symbiote Spider Man. I'm, I'm just going to pin myself, Jared. Pin yourself. Here. Hold on. Ah, mm, oh, right you can feel it. You can feel it. Jacob, what? What? I told you, you're, you can't just open that hard, buddy. Put that back in. What were you doing? Putting the water back in? Well, it's going to be forever before that gets cold, like tomorrow. Daddy, can I have one of your smear knobs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I night. like that. I like that. It's it's I, got it's got a little bit of that uh, Sienkiewicz flavor, just a little bit. Uh, yeah, you I got like it. that. I like that. Little Punisher action. Oh, that's now, dope. I'm a big fan of that. On this one, because I didn't want to kill the effect, I uh, I signed the back. I got you. Yep, yep, yep. You know what I mean? White would have just. Uh, yeah, you either have to white pin it or. Yeah, I, I, I see the decision. It's a good one. And uh, I believe this Captain America is Ashley's. Ashley, congratulations. This this Captain America goes to Jason. I got to take that to him out in um, Texas next weekend. You know, all my exes live in Texas. There you go. All right. Then we got this profile captain. Oh, the profiles are coming out. Profile Captain America. Profile Cap. Profile Thor. Profile Thor from last night. Very nice. Old school Iron Man. That's cool, man. This, I is, like that. this is for Tater. Noah the Hyper Potato? Or just uh, Tater? No, Tater Tater Shed Comics. Okay. All right. This, this Bill Sienkiewicz inspired Hulk uh, with, with that energy right in the middle of the eyes and the mouth. Like for it. Dr. For Dr. Kaz. Ron tried to bogart this and Dr. Oh. Kaz Dr. Kaz got him on it. I thought Kaz was a Spidey collector only. He's branching well, he out. To, got a little bishop action going here. Very nice. Little Batman. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I got a little of the uh little wavy on the um on the ears, and like I, I believe it was Joe last night said it had a very noir look to it, and I had to agree with him. I would agree with that. Here you go for all you 80s fans. I like little, it. Little toaster head rom. Wolverine. Snick. And Black Widow. Pretty. Hey Jason, uh, was that your Captain America? Are you are you the uh, Jason out in uh, Texas? 
at this point. Just started watching, but likes the Moon Knight because uh, if you are, I will flip back through to it. I got quite a stack here. This is going to be a mailing. It's going to be a massive mailing. I hope I got enough labels. There's a Captain America right there. Freedom prevails. Oh, no, nope. that Jason's in New York. Okay, well. Mr. Window there, dude, should have totally lied and said, yep, that's me and sent your address in. Hey, Sean, how you doing? What up, Sean? Uh, Sean got the, uh, I'm going to show it to him. I don't know if he saw what I did. And while he's in the room, I can ask him if he wants me to change it. Since I did the Punisher in this graphic feel, Sean, uh, my own artistic instinct is, um, yeah, me too. Thanks for, uh, okay. You, did you see that I signed the back? That way you get a signature. And I didn't want to put white on the front to kill the effect because it's so symmetrical and stuff. You know, on, on this, it's fine because it's splattered. It's, you know. It's not balanced. This one's balanced. So I do put thank I, I I I put thanking into these. What? Well, no. It's a way to get stuff done. And there's the Nick Fury that I just I just finished. So okay. now I'm going to get on to yet another Punisher. Somebody. Uh, this was for. Uh, the person that's getting a Nick Fury wanted his wife wanted a beat up kind of uh, battle damaged, battle damaged Punisher. Gotcha. So I have a little bit of dripping blood and scars, and I'm gonna see. I kind of was playing around, you know. Don't know if I'm gonna go full back, full black background, or kind of leave it like um, edgy. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Uh huh. I guess it'll the, just kind of come out in the ink. If I don't like it, I can always black it in. That's exactly what I was about to say. But you know what? It's like you've done this before. Uh, yeah, Sean, I did. I did hit the subs I was aiming for, and then some. Um, I think I lost a few last night though. After I got them. Well, thank you, Ashley. Does anybody Boy. want to see my thing? <laughs> oh yeah, let me uh, let me unpin my uh, let me unpin myself now. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was just making a stupid joke. <laughs> you have to unpin yourself. Oh, does it feel better though? Can you breathe better? <laughs> yeah. Ah, Zabel took his knee out of my back. Oh gosh, <laughs> that's gonna be refreshing. I know, Jared. You actually teach those uh, funny martial arts there at the at the base. So you do know some of the secret. Look, is it really secret? Mm, not anymore. But, you know, unless you're Bruce Lee. I may or may not be. Well, that's what everyone can say now that he's dead. I don't think anyone could have taken him. He's uh, quite the impressive cat. That's true. And I'm wondering if we really knew how, you know, talented he really was i know i wish mean we, wish we could have got more man when when you when the camera has to say slow down <laughs> <laughs> you know yep you're going too that, fast man we <laughs> i know when a camera can't keep up with you it's pretty impressive wouldn't you say i would i think say. you just did i yeah it's, i would say And wasn't there somebody that, isn't there a video of that one, 
one inch punch where he mm-hmm. literally somebody like took the blow. Yeah. So they, yeah. It pushed him back quite a ways. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. So when I, when I, so much of that is power of the mind. Yeah. I I had an instructor who, who would do cool things like, like that. Like, you know, he, 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 he'd have you put your, your hand, you'd be facing him, put your hand on his shoulder. And then he, he put all, pull all his weight down on your elbow and make you bend your elbow. Right. You put all that weight on there. You can't stop him from doing that. And then he'd say, I want you to just concentrate for the next 20 seconds. Pretend your arms are steel rod. Pretend like there's nothing that could possibly break you that break that elbow bend. And then he'd do it again. And then he couldn't he couldn't do it. It was an interesting exercise in how you can you tell your brain can tell your body, no, seriously, we're gonna do this. And it will do things you didn't know you could do. Really oh, cool I know. Stuff. Just just like you know, when there's a bad accident and someone lifts a car. The, the, you know, the body like just kicks mm-hmm. into some sort of superpower and say it's your your kid or something in there and you can lift a car off of them. <laughs> or the other John Beatty on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just neat. Very neat what the what the mind can do. Actually, that's me too. That was back when I was training. <laughs> yeah, so many talents, man. That's back when I was tossing uh, uh, foam poles in those Celtic games. Mm-hmm. The the caber toss. That's right. Okay, I got a joke for tonight. You want to hear a joke? Well, as long as it's PG thirteen, at least it's definitely PG. This is when you can tell your kids or kid as the case may be so uh a uh, sheep dog rounds up all the sheep you almost slipped there no i'm good just have a little faith in me <laughs> the sheep dog rounds up all the sheep goes up to the shepherd says shepherd i ran rounded up all the sheep and shepherd said you got them all he said yep got all 40 of them and the shepherd says, we only have 38 sheep. And the dog goes, I know, I rounded them up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're proud of that one, are you? Uh, not exactly, but... <laughs> but it works. It works, you know. And you're right. You have to be a certain age to understand that one. <laughs> Jacob, you taking a nap? No more shout outs? Falling down on the shout out job over there. He said he's done doing them. No no more shout outs. These people deserve no shout outs. (laughs) (laughs) What, Jake? No, no one's asked you for a shout out. He said, okay. And, you know. Just making sure. Just making sure. If you want a shout out, he will. Just let him know. That's nice of him. He's a giver. He gets that from his father. Dr. Kaz (laughs) in the house. (laughs) Hey, Dr. Kaz. Thank you, Joseph. Jacob, Ron, Ron would like a shout out. Can you can you say loud? Can you say it louder? Shout out to Ron. There you go. Can he do shout out the yard sale artist or? Can you can you say shout out to the yard sale artist? Okay. The yard sale artist. No. Give me a real shout out. Come on, let me hear it. It's the art sale artist. Art sale artist. I'll take it. 
Gotta go change some domain names and stuff. I'll be right back. There you go. Art sale artist. The yard sale. That's right. Man, I haven't seen Jacob forever. Not since Georgia, I don't think. He's five foot tall now. I believe you. No, he's actually 40, uh, 47 inches now. Uh, f uh, an inch away from four feet. You can take off your shoes. You can take off your pants. You can, because he, I, 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 I don't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> it's all right. We're all dads here. <laughs> well, you better not, because you may have to run down to the bathroom. Yeah, because I know that's how you like to be comfy, and we're in my office, and it's safe. So, but. No, but maybe you shouldn't. I was just kind of joking. It was a bad joke. How is well, it? Well, my bad pants joke? are already off, so I don't. <laughs> yeah, but that's 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 the <laughs> whole other topic. <laughs> Note to self: No more sharing room with Jared. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Make sure How do I live without you? <laughs> Come on, let's keep going. <laughs> I honestly can't remember. So yeah, I know. I, I was that's why I was telling you I to failed. Go. I failed everyone. Shout out to everyone watching the the stream right now. Jacob said, "Love it." Even why, Jacob? Wow, this shout out keeps going from Monday to Friday. That's one blanket shout out right there. That's it. That's covering a lot of territory. Oh, Jacob said if you want a shout out from him, just leave a like. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment. And he will give you a shout out or, yeah. or a reply. Right, Jacob? Bundle up them shout outs. How do I live without <laughs> you? Here on my own. Now wait a minute. That's How a could I ever, ever survive? <laughs> that was close. I'm getting there. <clears throat> you almost had that high note. <laughs> well, you would have never made it in the Bee Gees, but not <laughs> many of us. Not many of us would have, right? <laughs> no. Aaron Neville. Now there's a nice voice. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I what happened that. to him? Will Neville know? <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I'll be no, I, I mean, he he he's still alive, right? Uh, I don't know. Uh, if only we had someone to look that up on the internet for. Darn Ron, man, he's good on that stuff. He like you mentioned something and he's on it. Mm, that Ron boy, he's just the coolest. He is. Everybody loves Ron. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's rushing home. <laughs> Jacob, what you giggling at over there, buddy? Jacob, yeah. what you snickering at? What? What's funny? This video. Oh, okay. Got them videos, Dad. Got them videos. <laughs> Tony, he's a, he loves YouTube. 
All kids love YouTube. It's the future. No, it's here. The future is already here. Man, I was at Dragon Con, just a room full of super talented, amazing people. And my son was like, oh my gosh, that guy over there is a YouTube guy about Nerf guns. <laughs> what? I got to go get that guy's autograph. Like, um, okay, there's a lot of famous people in this room, and you're you're going after Nerf Gun guy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, that's that's the future, man. That's how Jacob is. He knows his YouTubers. Mm-hmm. I was all happy with myself because I followed the official Roblox uh, Twitter account. <laughs> okay. And uh, some stuff came in on it, and I was showing Jacob, and he's like, "Oh, can I can I get a Twitter account so I can follow some official YouTubers?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Jacob, this is like the official Roblox. I want to I I, I want to follow YouTubers." And I'm like, oh, "Well, yeah, okay." I said, "Let me let's charge your phone up, and I'll get it so you can see the notification." No, nah, I want it on my computer. I said, "We'll have to do that this weekend." Oh man! Hey, I I embrace the technology. Not yet. It's nothing wrong with that. Because I would say it's going there, but it's there. I'm not going to disagree with you. I mean, look at what we've seen. Look at what we've seen. The advancements from '96 to to 2019. We've got a computer we can carry in our pocket and get any a information and communicate. Huh? A computer. Yeah. It's not a phone. It's a computer. It's a computer. You got to say it like we did back in the 90s. Com computer. <laughs> it's a computer. <laughs> well, 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 what's going to happen in 2000? It's not meant to roll over. <laughs> I, I tell you what. I was When I was in the Air Force... I was in during oh, the 99 the, to 2000 thing, and I was on a was, special committee. I that, believe it. On 24-hour watch. It was a big concern. But when it rolled over overseas, could you all relax a little bit? Yeah, but we still had to have a that team there. Yeah. It was kind of fun, though. It was, just, it was a bunch of us lieutenants that they didn't, you know, they didn't know what to do with us. We were kind of useless. So we just kind of hung out, played board games in this room for 24 hours. Making money. I guess you're already being paid. That's true. We were. But there, you know, people thought it was going to be the end. I still think it was. And we just don't know it. Mm -hmm. I think you could be right. All right, John. Yes, sir. Time for you to do that thing that you do. What thing? I need you to tell me what color to color in the circle. <laughs> I need the official John Beatty circle color suggestion. Uh, let's see. I'm going to say green right off the uh, bat. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking like a lime green. How do you feel about that? Like a. Well, since I know that's the only green you got and you're just pretending. No, I've got. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, uh, but I do have plenty of shades. But I was thinking like a almost like this tape, you know, like a lime, lime green. What do you think about that? Mm, that might have a little bit too much yellow. Too much pizzazz. You want a little bit of a darker green? Oh, I think. Oh, no, not one. not not like a Kelly green or anything like that. I think I see one I like. Not an olive drab, or you know, you want a bright color, but that tape just has a little too much yellow and that you know the things kind of the orange has yellow in it so you kind of want to get away from yes yes i see what you're saying i see what you're saying i'm thinking going to ye tub of markers here
And that Punisher is looking good. Well, you know, when they wanted him battle worn, I'm like, well, it's a headshot, so what can I do? And then I started thinking about John Wick with the scars and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I figured I would do these little all the like some little scarring type stuff. John and Jared, what are your thoughts on digital comics, the future, yay or nay? Mm. No, I think there's always room for both. Uh, I think there's going to be some people that want to hold the book in their hands. And then I think there will be that audience that will, like myself, there's certain books I'll just buy on Comixology. Not that many. I really, I only have about maybe five. Um, I have a subscription to Marvel Unlimited, which is nice. Yeah. Um, but I, I agree with you, John. I, I'm like a 50-50 guy. I use Marvel Unlimited when I want to do some like historical reading. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then uh, some stuff you just want to have in your hand. So, yeah, I'm, I'm agree, I agree with you, John. I think it's a 50-50 market. But now, having said that, there's too many local comic book shops going out of business. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that that might lead to the demise of physical mm -hmm. comic books. See, but I mean, as far as them vanishing, I think they'll still be around. I just think it might be harder to find them. Yeah, um, a lot of people have been saying that. This is a great time to be in indie indie books. It is. And, and indie's on the rise because, you know, people are I looking just, for other stuff. I'm looking at that Peter Sumetti's uh business model mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. getting Hello. your getting your own book printed. I love Peter. I think he's doing some innovative stuff so that people can get their stuff out. Uh in the you know, even if you're at a convention or something, you can have your book printed at a reasonable price. And, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about because with digital stuff, you know, there's always going to be pirating. I think people, you know, are aware of that. And it's, you know, when I was younger, I was guilty of not having my own like, you know, I didn't have my own copy of Photoshop. I couldn't afford it. But I will say I got it from a very legitimate source in the sense that they were licensed owners and they could kind of give it to me legally. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It's like this it's really true confessions episode of the live. It, it, it is. It is like a weird. It was it was a weird thing. You know, I'm like, well. Well, you know, I got, I was in that prime age group when the whole Napster thing was going. So I, I bootleg more than my fair share of music from Napster on this true confessions episode of the John Betty live stream. I think everybody did Napster. I didn't. I mean, it's crazy. I, like everybody was kind of bootlegging everything. And then it's almost like the world or at least the United States, because it still gets bootlegged in <laughs> all countries left and right. The United States kind of came to a more people than not. I think these days are paying even when they know they could pirate. The culture's gotten better. I think. Not only that, but I don't want to take something and then realize that it's infected my computer or something. I'd rather I'd rather pay ninety nine cents and get the, uh, you know, mm, right, get the legitimate one and. 
you know, for for a dollar, get something free, and then it infects my computer. Right. Or locks it up or does something to it. It's not worth it. Not worth it. That's why every month I pay like $53 or $54 to have the creative cloud. And I know a lot of people don't like it, but I enjoy it. I enjoy it and I make good use of it. Mm hmm. And if you just need Photoshop, John can get it for you cheap. No, you can actually just subscribe to Photoshop. <laughs> you don't have to get everything. And I don't really use everything. I use Photoshop and Illustrator, and you can subscribe to just that. However, I've, you know, going into this arena of. YouTubing, the Adobe Premiere, and now they have this thing, Adobe Rush, for editing video. The Rush has its limitations. It's a kind of, it's meant for social media, but they kind of left out some key things that I would have liked to have seen, such as um, time lapse, you know, being able to speed up your video. Mm -hmm. I think that's a major fail. <laughs> But I, I've never worked in Premiere. I just, I'm going to have to learn some basics. Eventually, that, that will be on my list of oh, stuff to get around to. When I'm making my son's multi million dollar YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was interesting because as we were leaving the house, a tweet came in about there's this game in Roblox called Jailbreak. And this 19-year-old kid developed it, and he's putting himself through college on the money that he's making from it. Pretty amazing, huh? That's the world, man. And I'm like, dude, why are you putting yourself through college? You keep developing games. <laughs> You know, what I want you to, to 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 do one time, Jared. I'm almost afraid to ask, but go ahead. Do you ever want to get Zablo like really queasy? You've <laughs> never seen you've never seen Zablo get into one of his dry heave fits, have you? No, but now I want to. GL, that is a great quote that Stanley did. Oh, Ashley, don't want to be out of a job. Please still hit up your local comic shop. Well, I don't really have one around here. I've got one that I frequent. Um, but there, I think a lot more comic shops are being carried by game stuff. I see them more they, are gaming yep, stores. That's very true. Dungeons and Dragons are still, uh, I guess, popular. Um, what's the other one that's... And I'm talking card games, too, not even just video games. There's another card game that's still popular. Like Magic. People still yeah, play Magic. Pokemon. Yep, yep. Uh, Final Fantasy card game is popular where I live. Anyway, I don't know if it's popular everywhere. Well, you know, that place you have is hard to figure out. Because you can get the best German food in Alabama. <laughs> you know it. This side of Germany, as far as I know. I've never been to Germany. but I all, have, and I can verify that. All I know is, and it's a buffet, which makes it even more stunning that, you know. Although I'm not, like, 
a high gourmet guy, but it satisfied my taste buds. Knocked me off my diet. But in the most wonderful way. Yeah, you know what you were doing. I I beat down everything, and when you brought me there, I was just like, well, I, I got to have that schnitzel, man. <laughs> it just looks so good. <laughs> I mean, I, I looked at at salsas, I looked at, or no, did I did I eat a few? No, I did not eat any nacho chips there. You ate no nacho chips. Man. Do you know how hard that was? No, because I ate nacho chips. Especially because I think you got the queso. You know I did. Jacob, you like to eat at the uh, salsas restaurant, right? No, that's the one with the yellow rice and the not that much anymore. Why? Uh oh. You haven't eaten there in a long time. Yeah, we ate there with uh Uncle Ron just recently. Like that Uncle Ron? See that? <clears throat> yeah. Jacob, next time you see your Uncle Ron, <laughs> I got a mission for you. <laughs> I think this thing has come to an end. It never comes to an end, Jared. That's the cruel trick. There's more lines to be drawn, I feel. There's more crags. Always. Like Craig Zablo. More crags. That was so funny that night. He just didn't come out and say, Jared, put it. It's done. He was like, no, I think it's fine. He was <laughs> taking the... See, he was doing the polite thing, and you weren't getting it. So I would have just... I like. I, well, I think I probably did just say, Jared, it's done. Right? Sounds familiar. And, 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 and you still kept going like, eh, it's kind of missing something. <laughs> Yeah, I think it needs something. No, it's fine. <laughs> oh, man. See how nice that green looks behind there? It does, I, but I was eyeballing your, your Frank Castle right there. That's looking good, my friend. I think well, if you keep this up, you might have a shot in this art game. I, I don't know. <laughs> you just got to want it, man. Well, you know, C.B. Sobolski put a thing out for inking. And I, I said, saw that. Yeah, I thought I had a nice response. Here's here's my email. Let's let's start a conversation. Crickets. Crickets. Yeah. I think that's just out there for uh, you know. Yeah, if, if he ain't calling you back, uh, I don't know if I should bother. Well, you know, losing or losing using that term, uh, modern inker. I mean, the, you know, come on. Did you? And people were even confused. They were like, you mean like digital? I can do digital. <laughs> it's like they are. People were like, I can ink digital. And I'm just like, this is really sad. You know, this is sad. <laughs> the guy's calling that. Yeah, we, we could really use a lot more inkers. I think it was just a, uh, I think it was throwing some bait out just to see who we could get like professionals to, you know, like a few that did bite and said, Oh, I, I need work. I need work. I really do. I, I think it was because he didn't follow up with anything. It was just kind of like left out there, you know, left the bait in the water. Yeah. I had, when he posted, I had a couple of friends forward it to me like, Hey man, here's your shot. And I, I had that feeling too. I was like, yeah, I'll just keep thinking and posting my inking videos and, you know, they'll either find me or they won't. I like what I do. Well, there you go. Speaking of which, since this thing is about to wrap it up, I got a page I could be finishing up. Let me see if I can go find that. Now, we will try to sell that thing, right? Oh, yeah. This All thing right. will be for sale. 
You want to? You, you want? You want me to pin you while you give a sales pitch or see if anyone? <laughs> sure. Holding an auction. Holding an auction. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Okay, everybody. Jared has finished a nice sketch cover. Well, you can come over here and look, J uh, Jacob. Don't I got to see. Does it get the Jacob seal of approval? That's what I need to know. You got to come over here, Jacob. Oh, you, you can? Yeah. Oh. oh, I like that response. Thanks, Jacob. Huh? Okay. <laughs> that sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> A grilled hot dog with... Tell, tell, tell Jared how you like your hot dog. How does Mama cook it? With the grill marks on the grill. He loves it when Bella does the hot dogs on the grill and puts the grill marks on it. Because she slices mm, them, you know, right, right. The grill, and they get those little charred edges. And oh man, later, GLHG. Oh, you see, you you started talking money, and he left. Yeah, he was like, "I'm out of here." What? <laughs> you, <laughs> you just what? That's Kirk, isn't it? No, he's no with the hyper potato, but okay. Right now, I'm looking for the bag and board. Anyway, um, yeah, if anybody wants to snag this Fantastic Four, we can do this puppy for, uh, I don't know, 6000 What do you think, John? Pesos? <laughs> yeah, in pesos, obviously. Now, I'll tell you what. I'll do it. If you're on the chat tonight, I'll do it for 25 bucks. I'll probably put it in my store for 30 But if you got 25 bucks in your pocket and you like this thing <laughs> on this uh, Fantastic Four sketch cover, Wow, it could be yours. I'm just looking for. I had the bag and board set aside, and it just disappeared. I guess I'll have to go get another bag and board. I don't know what happened to it. That's a smashing value, isn't that a smashing value? It's clobbering time. I'm clobbering them with savings. <laughs> oh man, I cannot find it. Uh, I gotta find that bag and board. It's gonna bother me. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. Jacob is getting a little restless. I kind of figured this would happen. I'm getting these two that I needed to get done. People are here for the live drawing, which I I think I'll do the drawing. Well, I think I'll do the drawing for the drawing and do the drawing uh, this weekend if everybody's cool with that. It is a freebie, but it's... Uh, it's going on to 9 o'clock, and it's just Jared and I, so we could kind of wrap this up a little bit earlier. People got to see some drawing. Um, but I, you know, so, I'm going to have to get all the names into the uh, picker. Looks like have, Ron is taking the thing. Huh? Ron, I think Ron's taking the thing. Oh, wow. Good good score, Ron. Well, Ron said, uh, I thought he said he's... Uh, I'll take it, send PayPal your way. Yeah. And then another comment came in on it. So I'm assuming you want the thing, Ron. If not, uh, let us know because it looks like Chris Wilson uh, is also interested. I just want to make sure that you were talking about my drawing, Ron. I kind of got lost in the chat. Well, I know Ron's a gentleman. <laughs> I want to, he said, either or. I want to give it to your mother. <laughs> you know, you all started that. So that's no, where... don't say you all. Craig Zablo started that. I know. I cannot get him on a stream without him going back to that. That's his bit, man. That is his bit. That's what your mother said. That's my bit. All right, so Ron said he would clear the way for Chris, if I read that correctly. Um, look, going back to the chat, <laughs> I want to give her my thing. That's funny. All right, Chris, if you want this thing, Ron has opened that door for you. I'll move it back into the light. Into the light. Just let me know, Chris. All right, so 
if Chris is still in the chat. Otherwise, Ron, you're stuck with it. <laughs> hey, Ron, are you coming over this weekend? Okay, Chris comes in with I'll take it. All right, Chris. If you want to type your PayPal in the uh, chat, you can. And I will. <laughs> Oh, Lord, now Ashley's got the jokes. <laughs> Ashley came in. Everybody <laughs> knows that. I'm surprised. I'm surprised how many people remember that bit. It must have just been that good, right? It's it's uh, it's permeated society. All right, Chris, I have just... Hello, Ken. Ken my... Carson. Chris, I just dropped my PayPal in the chat. Just let me know that you got it, my friend. Hello, Ken. Okay, Jared. Sir. You have got to hold down the fort. Yeah, that's a lot of responsibility. It is. You're going to come back and... Uh, no, I have to... Do I have um, to watch Jacob? No, I have to do this... Um, You know, I, I got to do the drawing for the drawing that I will probably do on another day. Because Jacob is beginning to get a little restless here. Oh, okay. I will um, monitor the chat. So I need to, because it's like I said, I, I was hoping somebody would would be here that could do this for me. Or I, I didn't really want to do it like sometime during the day and just come out with a winner. Because... Mm. That would have just seemed odd in a sense. I, what, do you, you know, what, do you, what are you giving away here, my friend? Uh, free drawing. Uh, it's over with now as far as... Um, Entering? Yes. So I can't enter. No. Dang it. No, you cannot enter. Uh, I had another comment from a Jason. I'm trying to find. Whew. Let's see. Um, oh, there it is. Uh, this ink actually dry. If Jason, uh, Vinola is still in the room. Um, well, he did not enter, but he did ask a question. How long it takes the ink to dry? So... Now I have to Google a, let's see, random, oh, you know what, Jared, hold hmm. this, down. I'm going to go over to my other computer where I got two screens, I'm All on right. my laptop and I need to like pull one off so I can like type the names in the random thing, you know, it's much easier. Gotcha. If I have more room and I've got like a bunch of windows open now with the stream going on. So, uh, let All me, right. let me see here. Let me get back to, whoa. Are you doing something there entertaining for the folks? I am inking a page from the Pulsar comic. So there's that. All right, so, okay, that's back up. That's back up. Let's see, have we heard back from Chris? Okay. Chris, are you out there? Is this thing your thing? <laughs> yeah, he said, Chris Wilson, he said, and thank you, Ron. Okay. Oh, okay, I missed it. Yeah, I'm terrible at the, terrible at doing this chat thing. I suck at it. Thank hey, you, Chris. It's not easy. 
<laughs> no, it's not. All right, let me go. Not. Let me go over to my other computer where I got two monitors and I can put a screen with the randomizer and cut and paste people's names in, and then I will pull a winner out of the randomizer and come over and read it. Can you still hear uh, me while you're over there? I just wonder if I can talk See, bad about you. Here's the thing: you you can because if I plug out my uh headphone and stuff mm -hmm. you're gonna have like infinity sound i think i'm from the future isn't isn't that what we figured out when we did that before like I we all we did. yeah you have to have your headset on or it it goes on forever and ever and ever okay. but jacob will let me know if you're talking jacob would you like to come sit here and just talk for a while no okay no he's he's i think he's winding down he's getting a little he didn't have a nap today, and I think he's learned being sick how how refreshing a nap can be. I had a wonderful nap today. <laughs> All right, I didn't, <laughs> but I'm not complaining. All right, I'm going to go do this. All right, we'll be here when you get back. I will. All right, everybody, let's steal stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John's gone now. So if you have any of those questions, those those uh, secret secrets exposed questions about John, now's the time to ask me. I'll spill all the beans. Of course, I don't. <laughs> I'm with you, Noah, man. Making cheeseburgers and original art. Is there anything better than that? Noah the Hyper Potato once went. Well, I, I don't know that. I don't think you went, did you, Noah? It wasn't it to Neil who went and got us uh, chili cheese dogs at that con in, uh, in Albany? Those were good, man. Those were good. All we do on the show is make me hungry. Since John's gone, I'll turn this into a big commercial. Um, if you guys aren't checking out the Longbox Crusade podcast, you totally should. There's a lot of good shows under that umbrella. We've got the Longbox Crusade, where we're doing deep dives in old comics. Crusader Chronicles, where we're going through Pat's comic book collection. Chronologically, we're currently in 1977. So those are the comic ones. Then we got action film face off where we, my brother and I pit two action films from two randomly selected years against each other to find out which one we like best Saturday matinee theater, where we get into vintage TV movies and serials. We got it all. We also have a YouTube channel. So while you're here, Feel free to go subscribe to it. Just look up Longbox Crusade. We do a show called Doing It Live Stream every uh, month. We do it every second Sunday of every month. Where That's our chance to sort of talk live with our friends and our fans. Uh, they talk to us in the chat, and I'm usually drawing something. It's a good time. Hey, thank you, Chris. <laughs> oh, wow, what a coincidence. You've been bagging and board and your FF collection the entire time, and I can't find the bag and board I have for this book. I know it's in this room. Uh, it's not like I don't have a thousand bags and boards laying around, but it's still the principle of the thing. But I'm glad you dig the FF, my friend. Thank you for the purchase and the support. Thanks for supporting John's channel. Uh, it means a lot to me on all fronts. So thank you, Chris. Oh, anyways, like I said, um, if you have any questions about art, independent comics, how to get them made, I'm getting kind of good at that. Uh, if you have any questions about the military, if you want to go back into my history, I'd be happy to chat about that as well. 
anything I can do to keep the show flowing for our friend John. I think he went home. When John comes back, I'm going to pretend like I've just finished telling a really good joke. Thank you, Noah the Hyper Potato. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please do. That really helps John out. And like I said, if you're in a subscription mood, uh, go ahead and check out the Long Box Crusade and give us a subscription over there. Again, we're just a once a month show, just touching base with folks, having a good time, cutting up. We usually laugh a lot, and uh, I'm usually drawing something. If I'm not drawing something, we'll still be doing something interesting. We're gonna, we got a plan to do an upcoming episode where I'm gonna order like a 20 pack of random grab bag comics off of like eBay, and then we're just gonna open the pack live on the show and kind of discuss what we think about what's in there. I <laughs> see that's uh, that punchline a little too racy for where I was going. I think John went home. <laughs> so speaking of the podcast, I just finished editing up our latest episode of Action Film Face-Off. And in this episode... Uh, I got 1998, and my brother Jason got 2004. So the films squaring off are Blade, the original Blade film, and Man on Fire with Denzel Washington. So uh, sound off in the chat about which one of those films you prefer. They're both really good. I mean, very different tonally, but very good in their own right. So if you feel like sounding off on the chat about Blade versus Man on Fire, go ahead and do so. You want to find out who won it, you just got to go over and tune your podcatcher into the Long Box Crusade, and that episode will be coming out in just a couple days. <laughs> John went to a nap. <laughs> Jacob is bringing the winner over. Oh, Jacob's bringing over the winner. Let's see. A little lower, Jacob. A little lower. Put it right on top of Punisher. Right if you can hear me, Jacob, right on top of Punisher. There you go. Something right. Venom. Elden. Something that starts with a C. Venom. John, your hands are so small. I know. No, the paper's just really huge. <laughs> it's giant paper. Eldon Cooper. Well, Eldon drag, it, Cooper. drag it down a little bit, Jacob. Just drag Jacob, it down. I pop up here for a driver thing. So good job, Eldon Cooper. <laughs> oh, nice, Jacob. Nice Dad. job, Jacob. Here, let me uh, unpin Jared. Oh God, I can breathe again. Okay, now. There we go. Eldon Cooper. And I think I saw him in the room earlier tonight. Okay. Good oh, job, that's, Eldon. Nice. that's very nice, Jacob. 
Okay, so Eldon Cooper is our winner. Good job, winner, Eldon. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And <laughs> now Jacob's singing along. Okay, so I will be doing a Venom later, probably this weekend, out to Eldon. That way, uh, because... Boy, that's a lot of work putting all those names in one of those randomizers and checking and double checking and <laughs> we need a pet. I know, because hmm. somebody could have been doing it while we were chit chatting, you know. Oh, I just want to go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say I wanted we were chatting while you were gone. I just want to get of a agreement to uh bullet heads. I completely agree with you about how Blade lit the candle for the Marvel Cinematic Universe and that opening scene is still the gold standard of movie opening scenes, in my opinion. All right, sorry, John. Back to what we're doing. No, I was just... Oh, there's my old eraser. I'm just going to erase this uh, Punisher, and I'm thinking, since it will be the last thing I do tonight, well, as far as... on this, dying tonight? No, I was... No. <laughs> I, I, well, I could, you know, there's always that, but, ah, uh, come on, this old racer I should have thrown out. Okay, let me see if a new one will get that sticky eraser off. No, it's making it worse, but that's okay, because I'm going to have to rub it out now. I don't have any jokes, so. Yeah, you do. You no, just <laughs> I don't have any jokes for that. I'm 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 thinking now. I'm thinking on this Frank Castle a little uh, little white splatter, like I did on the Moon Knight, because it'll just look like he's beaten up, and then that'll be it. See, I couldn't do it the other night to the Moon Knight. I actually did that afterwards. I mentioned it in during the cast, but I was still in the middle of drawing, so I didn't want to have. I didn't want to have a splatter all over this part of my... I should have Jacob hold this paper. Jacob's going to shout out? Who are you shouting out? Say it a little louder. Shout out to the winner of this contest. Okay, and that was? Eldon Cooper. So wait, Eldon... he wins and gets a shout out? Man. Well, you know, Jacob's that way. He knows how to roll. He does. Hey, Dr. Kaz. All right. So, going to do a little, uh, little of the splatter splatter. Just, uh, Yeah, you know, it's fun having Jacob here, but tension span when he's not getting to do something. Well, he is, but he can't know volume and stuff, you know? Although he's got a headset on, but it it only has the one. It's basically meant for talking on a phone. Right. At the mic and the one. He, he likes the double earphones. And I'm like, man, I'd prefer the one because. But I don't have a. I don't think I got a. It's like the old time jack where you stick it in, and the one I'm ha I got is a USB, so I don't know if it's compatible. And I don't, you know, I got this working now, so I don't, I don't want to change anything right yet. Come on, I did a little bit of the live, the little thing they have on Twitter where you can go live. I got yeah, little, I, I saw that. I got a little it was on Facebook too, right? I just did it on Twitter. I got a little well, plant that I, I saw put on my table and put my phone in it. and Yeah, I have a couple of them. Um, and what do you use for the, for the white there? For my light? That white. Is that just... Um, this is uh, Liquitex ah. acryl acrylic ink. Gotcha.
Okay, that's enough. No more white. That's that's enough little splatter to make it look like, you know, maybe blood. I could have used red, but don't want to get too tricky. Okay, I, I am. It's been a long week. I'm exhausted so, for many things. I hear you, man. <laughs> no, it says, as Beck told me, I'm a loser baby. <laughs> <sighs> well, does it help to know that I still love you, Noah? And he'll be over for that back rub uh, this weekend? Possibly, depending. If he's available? Mm hmm All right. So, um, I will do Eldon's Venom as far as I... I still need to get back to two people on... Uh, quickie head sketches for Monday. Um, I will. So I appreciate everybody showing up tonight. Good crowd. I, I hopefully, uh, it was entertaining. And, uh, I think, uh, if, if, thank you, Dr. Kaz. Um, yeah, Ron's exhausted too. I know. Hey, Ron, did you ever answer? Or are you going to try to come over here tomorrow or Sunday? No, he said he answered. He said no. <laughs> no, I, it, it, I, I'm guessing it's going to be Sunday if he makes it over, because he's he's probably going to go home and collapse tonight and rest, kind of like me. In fact, I probably won't get down here till well. Got to take Bella to work by. She has to be there around eight thirty, quarter or nine. But I don't know if I'm going to come right down. But uh... okay. Just remember, if I don't text back, it's because I I got to get Jacob ready to get him back home. Thank you, Ashley. I appreciate it. Uh, keep in touch. Definitely nice. This is my first time around with Ashley, so nice meeting you, Ashley. Yep, Ashley is a new subscriber, and I think her first uh, cast was watching last night. She had the the Thor profile and the Captain America with the black on the mask. Those nice. were her. Those were nice. her. So if you're if you're wondering, I did not get to email much today. Uh, I do have the two people that wanted to kind of reserve a spot because they they just missed the last few times thank you kyla we're gonna have to get you in here one uh kyla is an artist herself jared oh well i think that's another first for me nice to meet yep. you kyla i tried to see if she wanted to come on tonight and she she chickened out yeah that's all right if you told her I was going to be here, then I completely understand. <laughs> oh, that must have been what it was. <laughs> the art I, sale artist. I don't think so. Is, is that creepy guy going to be on the show? <laughs> that? And I thought she was talking about me. And then she goes, no, no, the junk guy. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let me get the little guy and, and the old guy home. Got to do a little cleanup first. Um, let's see. I guess I can remove this now and get the proper uh, proper perspective on it. Maybe it's still a little. There we go. That that's kind of a little better. Looks great. Eh, eh. How about we do it that way? I Looks great in any direction. It does. <laughs> yeah, it really turn, does. turn your head. There, there you we go. go. Oh, were both of those yours? The Moon Knight and the Rom, Chris? If not, they are now. He called it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, Jacob? Okay, take them off, buddy, because I'm I'm gonna go ahead and get you home because you're I think you're needing uh, sleep. So, okay. Uh, 
Everybody that subscribe will get notified when the next cast is. Not yet. Let me let me sign off. Um, okay, Chris, that's that's good to know. And thanks for the support, Chris. Yeah, appreciate everybody for coming out. And uh, I think the next one I will have will be. I've got two. I think I'm gonna try to do three. Five is is a little bit long of an evening. If that was all I was doing, it would probably be okay. But it's not so. Um, <laughs> he, he wants to be at the house so he can just like flop into bed right now. I don't blame you, Jacob. You don't want to be at the house right now. Of course not, because it's not a school night on a school night. You'd be in bed right now. Okay. So Jared, I am going to sign off and say goodbye. You may do the same. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for supporting John. Thanks, Chris, for picking that up. Thanks, uh, Ron, for allowing Chris the opportunity to do that. You guys are both great, and I appreciate you both, and I appreciate everybody who stopped by. Yep, and don't forget, uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the notifications, comment, and like. Jacob, be careful down there. Jacob, you want to say uh, subscribe? Subscribe. You know, you know the drill. What's the whole thing? And there you go. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, three, two, one. See everybody later. Bye. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Kyla. AG, good night.